community maintains its downtown is, to me, the best reflection of its commitment to economic development. You can restore a, a 10-story building in Chicago and no one knows it's taking place. But you restore a seven-story building in Wheeling, West Virginia, and it becomes the and it's a strength, the genesis of, of revitalization of that community. But they needed someone, someone to be the start. And that's why I think that has happened here with the Heritage Group and in dovetailing with historic preservation. You look at the number of buildings that have been rehabilitated. That included the tearing down the, uh, the old parking garage on Riverfront. Uh, building the first amphitheater uh, that was there on the on the river and watching the excitement of, of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people using that facility. That all came from a, a good working relationship. Just, a, just talking to each other. I have a dream. How do we make it happen? I can't imagine that there would be as much investments in our downtown areas if it were not for the historic preservation tax credits. And we're seeing businesses, restaurants open up, dry cleaning shops, uh, office buildings that had otherwise been abandoned that would not, I believe, would not have happened if it were not for the historic preservation tax credits. These buildings would have remained empty or underutilized. This was something that was so important. I've seen the advantages of it across this country. What I want to see is other communities taking on the same excitement level. Uh, because preserving our heritage, I think, teaches us something. We just have to work together. And I think uh, our office and the Historic Preservation Group the, the, uh, and the Heritage Foundation, they, all, all, all those groups come, have come together. I'm satisfied that we got something major accomplished in, in Washington. So when people say that we don't get things done, look again, dig a little deeper, you'll find out some very positive things are happening.